This is Twit. We usually hear about cyber attacks as, starting, as targeting corporations and organizations in hopes to siphon some ransom from there. Well, ransomware is on the rise, and it's been targeting more and more critical organizations as well. However, did these hackers not think that at some point human life would be in the balance if they keep attacking, well, hospitals? Well, some need to slap the shackles on these people and give them a bit of a Hello McFly because the latest ransomware attack was at Dusseldorf University Hospital. And according to a German news outlet, RTL report, the ransom note was addressed to a nearby university. Now, healthcare faculties facilities are one of the biggest targets of cyber attacks. Now, cybersecurity experts have warned for years that most hospitals are, aren't prepared here. Now, they rely on heavily on devices like radiology equipment that are often connected to the internet. Now, without those tools, they aren't as able to h- handle uh, threats to patients. Now, unfortunately, in this case, a woman in Germany died during a ransom attack of hospital and what may be the first death directly linked to, linked to a cybersecurity or cyber attack on hospital. Now, the hospital couldn't accept emergency patients because of the attack. The woman was sent to a healthcare facility around 200 miles away. Now, even though attacks that targeted patient data, it also didn't directly impact medical devices, but actually could hurt patient outcomes. Now, this results from a study that found that hospitals' death rate from heart attacks goes up in the years after a data breach. That's probably because hospitals have to divert resources to respond to the attack or upgrade software in a way that changes how doctors operate. Now, what the hackers don't realize is their ransom attack is now being a th- treated as a homicide here. Now, on that note, here are some food for thought. Although the hackers are fault here, do you think the hospital and the university should be also held responsible for taking necessary precautions to ensure disaster recovery? Think about it. Well, I'm going to go ahead and come in with some additional detail on the story that Lou just told, because... This is a critically important attack, one that had actual human life consequences. Now, one of the interesting features here is that according to the Associated Press, the hospital was not the intended uh, target of the attack. As a matter of fact, there was a ransom note attached to one of the attacks, and it was aimed at the university that the hospital is associated with. When law enforcement contacted the attackers through the mechanism provided in the ransom note, telling them that they had hit a hospital, they very quickly provided the key to unencrypt the data, although that was too late for the woman who was dead because of the redirection. Now, as far as we know today, This attack took place using a known vulnerability in a Citrix VPN. And it's fascinating because according to a recent Checkpoint report, 80% of observed ransomware attacks in the first half of 2020 used vulnerabilities reported and registered in 2017 and earlier with more than 20% of those attacks using vulnerabilities that are at least seven years old. So while we're never going to minimize this human cost, it's worth saying to all of those CISOs and security professionals out there, make sure that checking on and updating software on a regular basis is a key part of your defense strategy. 